Hey everyone, in this video you learn how to set up melee combat in your game by using FS melee combat system. So we'll start from a blank scene and we'll set up melee combat in it. So here I have a plain scene with just a simple environment. So let's look at how to set up the melee combat system in the scene. So first let's try creating the player. So for that I'll go to tools, FS system and I'll select the setup button and from here with player selected I'll select both melee combat and locomotion and then here I can give the name for the animator controller that will be created by the system so I'll just name it something like melee controller and then if you want to change the character we can drag and drop an FBX model onto this window okay so for this tutorial, I'm just going to use this character for the player. So I'll go ahead and click on the setup button and that should create the player character for us. All right. So if I test the game, we should be able to run around the scene and we should be able to attack by pressing the left mouse button. Okay. So up next, let's add an enemy to our scene. So again, I'll go to Tools, FS System, and in Setup, I'll select AI this time, since we want to add enemy. And I'll check the Melee Combat AI. And I'll just name the animator something like Melee AI Controller. Okay. And I want to change the model for the enemy. So let me just search for the model that I want to use and I'll just drag and drop it onto this window. Okay, so now I can go ahead and hit the setup button and that should create the enemy for us. All right, so right now it's placed at the same position as that of the player. So let me just place him over here. So for the enemy to be able to move, we should bake a nav mesh in Unity. So I'll just select my environment game object and here I'll add a nav mesh surface component and I'll click on the bake button okay so that should bake the nav mesh for us all right let me just disable the gizmo so that it doesn't clutter the scene so now if we test the game we should be able to fight with the enemy all right so you can see that once the enemy detects us, he will fight with us and we'll perform different attacks based on the distance. So if I'm attacking from a larger distance, you can see that the player performs a flying kick and it killed the enemy. Okay. So if you want to increase the health of the enemy, you can select the enemy game object and find the damageable script. So here you can set the health of the enemy. All right. So another thing I want to show you is if we sneak up behind the enemy and if we attack without the enemy noticing, then we'll perform a stealth attack like this that will instantly kill the enemy. All right. So all these attacks are defined in the weapon that the player and the enemy are holding. So if you select the player and find the fighter co script, here we have a field for the default weapon. So for the player it's called demo weapon. And if you select the demo weapon, you can see how the attacks and all are defined in this weapon. So these are the list of attacks that we have in the weapon that the player is holding. Okay. And here we can define different attacks based on the distance to target so if the distance is between 0 and 2 then the player will perform one of these combos and if the distance is higher then the player will perform this flying kick and then we can also give other conditions like health threshold so if the enemy's health is less than 10 percentage of the max health then the player will perform this finisher and then 
if the attack type is stealth that means we attacked without the enemy detecting then the player will perform this neck twist stealth attack okay so we'll be doing a complete tutorial in which we'll set up the weapons and attacks from scratch but for this quick start video i want to keep things as simple as possible and just go over the basic setup all right so next we can try changing the weapon of the player so i'll select the player and i'll find the fight token script and by the way for the player you can search for any scripts from the player controller script so i'll just search for the fight token script and in the fight token script i'll change the default weapon to a sword all right so now the player should equip a sword by default so yeah you can see that the player equipped a sword by default and our attacks are different right we can also try performing the stealth attack and yeah you can see that the stealth attack for the sword is different so we can also try giving the sword to the enemy so i'll select the enemy and find the fight to go script and for the enemy i'll give this sword enemy weapon i just created different weapons for the enemy so that they don't have powerful attacks like finishers that will instantly kill the player okay so now the enemy should have sword equipped by default okay and we can try fighting the enemy i can bo i can block by pressing the right mouse button okay and i can also counter by pressing q all right if the enemy's health is low then we'll perform a different counter so you can see that once the enemy's health is low we'll perform a different counter and finally let's try creating a few more enemies all right i'll just place them like this and we should be able to fight these enemies in a free flow combat meaning all the enemies will not attack us at once instead they'll take turns and attack us one by one okay so yeah you can see that the enemy doesn't attack us all at once instead they are taking turns and attacking us one by one all right we can also counter the enemy and attack back and all that and by the way we can change the settings of the free flow combat from melee ai manager script so in here we can set things like time range between attack and all that and the criteria that the system uses to determine which enemy should attack okay and if you don't want free flow combat at all then you can simply turn this off so if you're making like a soul scheme in which you want all the enemies to attack at once to make it as difficult as possible for the player then you can turn this off but for most games you need the free flow combat all right so you can learn a lot about the melee combat system asset by exploring the demo scenes so if you go inside the melee combat system demo scene folder inside scenes we have multiple demo scenes here so in the main demo scene the player is set up with hand to hand combat and here we have multiple rooms to show different features of the system and then we have another demo scene in which the player is set up with the sword weapon by default okay so yeah, you can go ahead and explore it and then we have another demo scene which showcases ai versus ai combat so here when you run the game the ais will be fighting each other and we can also get involved if you want okay
So yeah, you can learn about the features of the asset by exploring the demo scenes. And I'll also be creating a more in-depth video where I'll set up things like weapon and attacks and all from scratch. But for the quick start tutorial, I want to keep things as simple as possible. All right. So I'll stop the video here. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.